It's six o'clock. We'll go ahead and call the meeting to order. If you would, please stand. Pastor John McLemore would come forward, please, and leave, lead us an invocation. Let's pray. Father God, we come tonight asking for your blessings upon this meeting, Father God, and asking for your wisdom, for your guidance, and for your direction, that our leaders, Father God, would do the things that would be good in your sight and your will. Father, we just ask that these men and women be blessed in all that they say and do and think for you, Father God, and that glory will be brought to you through the actions done tonight. These things, Father, we pray in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. This time, Boy Scout Troop 1908 will present the colors. Color guard attention. Audience attention. Color guard forward march. colors. Post the colors. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please join me in the Texas Pledge. Turn to post. <laughs> Color guard halt. Color guard at ease, audience at ease. Boy Scouts will come back up front. I'd love to introduce you. Thank y'all so much. It means so much that when y'all come out and present our colors. Do you would raise your hand when I uh, say your name? Gavin? Andrew? Jonah? Dylan? Braden? Gage? Braden, now Brand, Braden, B R A Y D E N. Brent, Tristan, Marcus, and Gunner. If you would, please give them a. students to pursue a higher level of course study to be qualified when entering the workforce. The Edgar County Independent School District participates in this work board development program which helps students understand that good, well-paying jobs are awarded to those who prepare themselves by obtaining a sound academic education. Students in the program volunteer for local nonprofits, religious or charitable organizations. 
Volunteering develops a team and communication skills, building a network of opportunities to provide a sense of achievement. In the Odessa Chamber of Commerce, ECISD, businesses and organizational sponsored Texas Scholar for our Leaders of Tomorrow, in this academic year, 490 students were enrolled in Texas Scholars and completed 17,789 volunteer hours. And since the inception of the program back in 1997, there have been 239,078 volunteer hours have been contributed to the community. Now, therefore, I, David R. Turner, by the virtue of authority vested in me as mayor of the city of Odessa, do hereby proclaim May 24th, 2016, Texas Scholar Day. Throughout the city of Odessa, I encourage the citizens to acknowledge these commendable students for their strong foundation encouraged by Texas Scholar programs to to compete in tomorrow's competitive workforce. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. At this time, I would like to introduce the Texas Scholar students. When your name is called, would you please come forward? Line up here and we'll take a, a quick picture. From New Tech Odessa, freshman Haley Zunt, sophomore Brittany Haley, Junior Megan Cepak, uh, Senior Mackenzie Marquez, Senior Michael Melitkar, OHS Freshman Xavier Mina Harris, Sophomore Andrea Garcia, Junior Monacereth Melchor, Senior Melina Cortez, Hermian Freshman Minji Cole, Sophomore Nicole. Ann Domingo, Junior Alyssa Bloom, Senior Jeremiah Leha, Falcon Early College High School, Freshman Jocelyn Hernandez, OC Tech Freshman Michaela Welch, and from Richard Milburn Academy, Blair Jones. Now it's picture time. Picture time, please, sir. We are very excited to have Mr. Shirley and Mr. Gellowick from Republic Services here with us. If y'all would like to come up. We wanted to present you both with a special plaque of appreciation to say thank you for their commitment in educating our children in environmental awareness through their sponsorship of our summer program of Planet Troopers. Through their help, we will be hosting three cleanups this summer at three different parks, Floyd Gwynn, Sherwood, and Woodson. And through their generous help, we are able to provide the kids with t-shirts, lunch, and with little goodies that we're going to provide them through our organization. So we want to say thank you. You know, all I'd like to say is just, you know, we're, we're, we're honored to be a part of it. Um, more than happy to be, uh, you know, good neighbors, good partners with the city of Odessa, great city, great, great community, and, and uh, very happy to be a part of it, so thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you very much, Crystal. And if we could have somebody with Motorcycle Safety and Awareness Month, please come forward. We will read the proclamation. Nobody here? Okay. Well, I will go ahead and read the proclamation. It says, uh, City of Odessa Proclamation. Whereas motorcycles are an increasingly popular means of transportation for commuting, touring, and recreational use on our roads, motorcyclists are virtually unprotected and therefore prone to injury and death in a crash. More, more uh, prone to injury and death in a crash than other vehicles drivers. A critical element in reducing injury and fatalities to motorcycles is education about motorcycle safety. And it is a responsibility of all who put themselves behind the wheel to become aware of motorcyclists, regarding them with the same respect as other vehicles traveling down the highways of this country. And it is the responsibility of the riders and motor motorists alike to obey all traffic laws and safety rules. I urge all citizens of the community to become aware of the inherent danger involved in operating a motorcycle and for the rider and motorist to give each other mutual respect as they, as they deserve. Now, therefore, I, David R. Turner, by the virtue of authority vested in me as mayor of the city of Odessa, do hereby proclaim the month of May as Motorcycle and Safety Awareness Month. Throughout the city of Odessa, I urge all citizens to do their part to increase safety and awareness in our community in order to save lives. Thank you. John. Okay, next we'll move to the consent agenda. Do we have a motion? So moved. A second. A motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Next we move to other council actions. Consider award of bid to refuse containers and replacement bottoms. Mr. Kirk. Good evening, Mayor, Council. Uh, we have for your, for your uh, Consideration this evening an award of bids for refuse containers and replacement parts. Uh, bids were received on May 3rd, 2016, for the annual budgeted uh, purchase of refuse containers and replacement parts. This annual purchase is used to uh, refurbish containers and replace those that may have declined to the point of not being usable. Uh, bid packets were distributed to six vendors with three responsive bidders and it is recommended award be made to Impact Plastic for item one and Roll Off USA for items two through four. Total purchase price is $218,966. Okay, are there any questions for Mr. Kerr? Okay, I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Do we have a second? second? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Next, uh, we'll consider purchase of a Peterbilt truck truck tractor, Mr. Kerr. Uh, this one is a consider purchase of a Peterboat uh, built tractor, uh, 367 truck tractor. Uh, this is used in our streets department uh, for hauling uh, our large trailers. Uh, we pull, uh, we, we deliver our base materials, uh, uh, asphalt grindings, things up to our work sites, as well as last year we used, a, used it heavily in the tree uh, uh, limb collection projects. Um, the, uh, the, the bid is recommended for, uh, was a buy board vendor, it's Rush Truck Centers. Uh, this truck uh, will pull the dump trailer as I mentioned. Uh, the replacement truck is, is for a 2006 and has uh, approximately almost 100,000 miles on that vehicle. Uh, the price for the truck is $144,108. Okay. Are there any questions for Mr. Kerr? At this time, I'll entertain a motion. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Thank you, Mr. Kerr. Next, we move up to miscellaneous uh, appointment of boards. Ms. Romaldo? Uh, I make a motion, Mayor, that we uh, appoint Kathleen Richter to the Animal Shelter Advisory Committee. Okay. Second. Second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passes. 
Do we have anybody for the Historic Preservation Yes, Grace King to be reappointed for the Historic Preservation Commission. Okay, uh, we need a motion. Someone. Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Um, under citizen comments on non agenda items, we do have one citizen who would like to speak. Cliff DeArmond, if you would please come forward. Thank you, Mayor. <clears throat> Thank you, Council. I just wanted to, um, as a mobile food vendor, uh, food truck owner, I want to say thank you to the city council, to the city management, Michael, Mr. Long, as well as members of the council, Maria Sandoval, for making us feel heard in our industry. We really appreciate your support, and we hope to uh, continue to do that with integrity and make a good name for ourselves. So thank you so much. We really, really do appreciate it on behalf of colleagues that are here tonight, but also trucks that will come into the city and start operating. We're very grateful. We want to say thank you. Great. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we have um, one more is Top Browns. If you would come forward, please. Good evening, Mayor Turner. Mr. Morton, Mr. Alberto, Mr. Long, everyone uh, with the council. Uh, when we started this process a couple of years ago, uh, the Modesto Mobile Food Vendors Association would like to thank you guys for listening to our voices and we'd like to personally thank you as well for listening to the concerns of the industry as a whole. We just want you guys to know that we exist and we really appreciate you guys making us feel wanted in the industry and we just thank y'all for taking those considerations and things in nature so we can be viable businesses in the city so we really appreciate that thank you very much okay we have does that mean we get free food <laughs> <laughs> that's mr gonzalez just in case the media's here yeah. okay uh, we have no more agenda items uh, we are adjourned